From late night cartoons to big screen productions, the muggles have run amok. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Harry Potter parodies. Can you tell me what happens at the end of the series? He grows up and marries you. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've gathered the funniest, cleverest, and most popular parodies centered on the Harry Potter film series. As we're considering anything inspired by recognizable Potter scenes, tropes, or characters, today's entries include film and TV spoofs and references, as well as viral clips and YouTube favorites. Welcome! My name is Harry Potter! Number 10, Peter and the Sorting Hat, Family Guy. Seth MacFarlane and company have poked fun at the Potter series in various scenes, including Steve's suspect potions class in American Dad. Potions class! Did you get all this stuff from Professor Snape? You do not freaking ask who we got this from! But we've gotta go with the Griffins to start. Family Guy references to witchcraft and wizardry include Quagmire's questionable view on female anatomy and Peter's doorstep chit-chat with a passing owl. Oh my god, is this my acceptance to Hogwarts? No, it's a letter asking you to stop throwing rocks at my nest. But we've picked another Peter clip for today's list as his sorting hat ritual goes awry. Housing for registered sex offenders! Ah. Number 9, The Shakespeare Code, Doctor Who. While this Doctor Who episode centers on Shakespeare, J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter provide a running gag throughout, blurring the boundaries between two of fantasy fiction's best-loved universes. That's a surprise. It's all a bit Harry Potter. Wait till you read book seven. Oh, I cried. Martha Jones is still finding her feet in the TARDIS, and the Doctor's powers are equally Harry-esque in her eyes, but Rowling's work truly comes to the fore at the story's supernatural climax. There's nothing that a simple disarming charm can't fix. Number 8, Drunk Ron Weasley, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Being best mates with the boy who lived isn't always all it's cracked up to be. Please and Johnny, good birthday! Please and Johnny, good birthday! Simon Pegg plays Ron in this sketch for Jimmy Fallon, only Potter's pal is looking a little worse for wear. Staggering across the stage, slurring his words and firing through a series of Potter puns, Peg's Ron is drunk, disorderly, and dejected. It's just always Harry, it's about Harry this and Harry that and that. Oh, I'm Harry, I'm really Harry. Harry's kept his distance, Hermione's left him, and Hogwarts seems a long time ago, but at least he can down a pint in five seconds flat. Accio sick bucket. Hermione's left me? <laughs> oh she went off with <laughs> Neville Longbottom. All right, all right, oh my God. Number 7, Honest Trailers Harry Potter, Screen Junkies. The Screen Junkies' Honest Trailers treatment has become a bizarre badge of honor for major movie franchises, and the Harry Potter edition doesn't disappoint. When an evil, noseless freak threatens to take over the world, it's up to this boy wizard, his totally useless friend, and his superior in every way hot lady friend to defeat him. With spot-on summaries of our favorite characters and merciless Mickey takes of pivotal scenes, it also pays hilarious homage to the UK's topmost acting talents. Relive the excitement of acclaimed British thespians yelling nonsense. Volate ascendere! Trivializing the saga into just a few short quips, while this clip does cozy up to the anti-Potter argument, Harry fans are sure to smile too. A franchise so epic, it took 10 years, 8 films, 4 directors, and 2 Dumbledores to tell. Number 6, Toad Blatt's School of Sorcery, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Introducing Nigel Planter, a recurring character in this mid-2000s Cartoon Network show and a pinpoint parody of Rowling's world-famous wizard. By the way, honey, I'm Nigel Planter. Whatever. Planter crosses paths with Billy and Mandy at Toadblatt's School of Sorcery, where the Squid Hat sorts them into Weaselthorpe House, the consistent no-hopers in a race for the House Cup. Weaselthorpe? Weaselthorpe! I hate Weaselthorpe! But when Mandy sets her mind to sabotage, their rivals Gunderstank don't stand a chance, leaving Planter to steal the credit for Mandy's cunning plans. Great news, everyone! I have single-handedly sabotaged Gunderstank! Yeah! 
Number 5. Harry Potter and the Secret Chamber Pot of Azerbaijan Comic Relief When French and Saunders took on Hogwarts in 2003, Harry Potter mania was in full flow. Harry Potter is back. It's one year later, and he learns the truth. You're a woman, Harry. <laughs> the comic duo act have delivered many a memorable parody for comic relief, but here they spoof the second Potter film with a perfect rehash. No, I can't. I'm filming. Okay. Dawn French turns the boy wizard into a rather womanly character, while Jennifer Saunders plays a petrified Ron Weasley and a ditzy JK. And both are backed by a stellar supporting cast, including Jeremy Irons as the narcissistic Snape and Basil Brush as Dobby. Boom, boom. Oh no, not Mr. Dick, sir. Oh, stupid Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Number 4 Treehouse of Horror 12 The Simpsons. To another animated show packed with Potter parodies, The Simpsons typically spoofs Harry through Lisa's favorite book series, Angelica Button. Magic, magic, magic. All is one. Yay! <laughs> However, the third story in Treehouse of Horror 12 sees Springfield Elementary transform into an all-encompassing academy of magic, and it's no surprise that Lisa is top of the class. Hocus Crocus. Oh, excellent, Lisa. A+. Plus. A six-minute tale packed with pun-based spells and thinly-veiled characters, Lord Monty Mort is a particular highlight, even if his death is kind of gross. Oh, sir. In death. We shall be together always. Number 3. Lindsay Lohan Sketch – Saturday Night Live We can all thank SNL for a long series of spoofs, and special mention to Daniel Radcliffe's 2012 hosting slot which saw him reprise his iconic role. Mr. Potter, you know very well we do not allow alcohol on these premises. Don't worry, it's just butterbeer, is it? But this sketch is easily the show's most famous Potter skit, centering on Lindsay Lohan as a sexed-up Hermione. I got here hours ago. I've been in the library researching cloaking spells. <laughs> Set after the summer break, Loan's busty witch triggers a testosterone overload, proving a provocative distraction as Ron, Harry, Fred, George, Snape, and Hagrid get hot under the collar. Although she seems oblivious to the ogling. I'm sorry, boys. We can't waste time. We'll celebrate after we defeat Voldemort. What a tease. Number two, Dark Lord Funk. K-Face TV Bruno Mars meets the boy who lived for today's runner-up, although it's Voldemort who truly takes centre stage here. With a rhythm lifted from Mars and Mark Ronson's 2014 mega-hit Uptown Funk, the lyrics land us right at the heart of the Battle of Hogwarts. Only the Dark Lord's on the dance floor, and Harry hasn't a hope of matching his moves. A monumental musical number, Dark Lord Funk even impressed JK herself, who said the clip was genius. And we think she'd love us too if she just clicked that subscribe button. Shameless Plugiosa. I confess myself disappointed. Number 1 Potter Puppet Pals, Neil Cesariga. It may have been inspired by one of the most popular film franchises in history, but today's winner boasts its own unique spot in modern pop culture. No tomfoolery today, Ron. I'm sick of your dreadful speckled mug. Why must you hurt me in this way, Harry? Potter Puppet Pals sparked a YouTube phenomenon in the mid-2000s as a long series of live-action puppetry sketches designed to caricature the Harry Potter series. Pantalonius Pupicus! <laughs> But the mysterious ticking noise caught most attention, providing an unofficial soundtrack to Harry's epic adventure. Severus Snape. Harry Potter. Snow. Harry Potter. This, ladies and gents, is what real magic looks like. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo UK and subscribe for more great content.